in the last video I didn't know that you couldn't see the, uh, the antenna mount after I got it on so here's the final product the uh, like I said everything all together is less than $25 for sure and you may be able to, to not you know build any of this and use just the antenna with a weight on the back of the stand like I showed you in the very beginning of the video uh, like I said I'll be testing that soon to see if uh, having it on the ground kind of angled up um, will work well because so far in my test I found that the higher I put my antenna the uh, the better results I have even reading from the shoe tag right next to it you know, on the ground um, so I think the beams when they come out of the antenna are pretty wide so I think if it was uh, angled up slightly uh, like you saw in the previous videos uh, previous video and then uh, that would still read really good at the ground but it also read uh, well uh, up higher so so I probably have a longer read, read range there but uh, the board itself of course it's just a basic board now if you're a, a professional timing company or uh, or some other group running club whatever that wanted to use this setup then of course you could paint the board or do whatever you want to make it look prettier but um, so that's just a basic overview I'm going to set the camera down so you see what it looks like to move the, uh, the antenna up and down so like I said at all times I try to keep this uh, the actual bolts as high as I can because that seems to provide a little bit stronger grip now it's strong you know pretty much all the way up and down but I've noticed it's definitely tighter uh, if you uh, keep this the, uh, the, the clasp here at the top of this uh, mount so uh, when I'm moving up and down a lot of times I take my thumb and I kind of pull down on it to make sure it doesn't like slide down like that so when I pull down it just stays where it should and so uh, so anyways uh, that's pretty much the the end of the uh, looks like now it's kind of loose a little bit anyway that's uh, that's how the antenna looks when it's all finished so and this is, of course, the Thinkify antenna. If you have uh, other antennas, like if you already own a Jaguar system or any other system that uses UHF antennas, then uh, those antennas should also should also work. The connector that's on the back of this is a, uh, I think it's called Reverse Polarity TNC or something like that connector. Um, but uh, you can get connectors, different cables with different adapters. So if your antenna has a different style of connector, you can find a um, usually a cable or a adapter that you know, allows you to connect to the uh, Motorola FX7400 or any other readers offered by my, my software, so, uh, or that works with my software. But, uh, like I said, everything uh, that I use, you should be able to have in a basic um, toolkit. So, uh, hopefully that'll give you the motivation and encouragement to see that you can do this yourself.